Jeremy Jacobs led his son, Jerry Jr., down the red carpet with the most prestigious symbol in hockey, raised high. Following this reception, all Delaware North employees were encouraged to walk the red carpet for themselves and take a picture with the Stanley Cup. And who else but somebody like the Jacobs family would share the cup with everybody, share it with the employees, share it with the city, share it with friends and family. The Jacobs are hosting the Stanley Cup in Buffalo to celebrate the National Hockey League champion Boston Bruins, owned by Delaware North Chairman and Chief Executive Jeremy Jacobs. The name Jacobs has been in uh, uh, sports forever. Uh, maybe help save the baseball uh, during the Depression, all those things. Where does this rank in, in the, you know, the almost century-long history of... Uh, I wasn't the there, thank God. <laughs> uh, but I can tell you in my lifetime, this is, this is right at the top. The Boston Bruins' phenomenal win and the Jacobs special connection helped the Bruins make some new fans in Buffalo and gave diehard fans an extra reason to cheer. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was one of the best things I've ever seen. It was a great series, great hockey, a real hockey fan. Well, we were in, uh, we're in town for HR Advisory Council and fortunately we were on this floor and had the opportunity to see it. Uh, after spending two and a half seasons at the Garden and uh, Working in Boston, it's a, it's a special thing. I live in the South. Hockey's not real big, but as they were, you know, going through the uh, the rounds, I started watching a little more, and uh, now I'm a hockey fan. So I love it. It's 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 great. It's great team building that they brought it down here for us all to see it. We're in Buffalo. This is away from the Boston Bruins market, but again, the fans have been coming out in droves. Uh, very excited to see see the Stanley Cup. Uh, this trophy represents all of hockey. Mike Bolt from the Hockey Hall of Fame is the official keeper of the cup and has been traveling with the Jacobs family. This is the official one right here behind me. This is the one you saw Char lifting uh, back in uh, Vancouver along with the rest of the teammates. Uh, Mr. Jacobs of course hoisted in Vancouver. We do have a second version. Uh, it's a replica for a better word. It sits on despite the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto when this is uh, on the road. And uh, we also have the original bull that Lord Stanley donated back in 1892 which came off of this trophy in the mid-60s which is in the Hall of Fame behind glass. So how close can fans get to the cup? Yes, uh, the employees here, they can come up, they can touch it, they can put their arms around it and give it a kiss. They are not allowed to lift it. Uh, as we tell people, if you, want to, if you want to lift it, a lot of people want to do that pose, you've got to earn the right. Uh, it's kind of reserved for the winners. Fans can get close enough to see the last time the Stanley Cup was engraved with the Bruins team names in the 1971 to 1972 season. The Bruins 2011 team names will be engraved by the end of September, just in time for the home opener. When the bottom ring fills up, we'll be moving each of the rings up, taking the top ring off, retiring it into the Hall of Fame in Toronto, and putting a new ring on the bottom. Which, uh, the Boston Bruins will be on the cup for 59 years before their names are removed. The look on the chairman's face and, and the feel that he has from over the cup, I think it just shows that there's no price you can pay on winning the Stanley Cup.